Welcome to Sunday School, Romans 5.12. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. For a time, we do not know how long, Adam and Eve were at peace in their beautiful garden. They did just as God told them to do, and talked with God as a man would talk with his friend, and they did not know of anything evil or wicked. It was needful for Adam and Eve to understand that they must always obey God's commands. So God said to Adam and Eve, You may eat the fruit of all the trees in the garden except one. In the middle of the garden grows a tree with fruit upon it that you must not eat. If you eat of the fruit upon that tree, you shall die. Now among the animals in the garden there was a snake. And this snake said to Eve, Has God told you that there is any kind of fruit in the garden of which you are forbidden to eat? And Eve answered the snake, We can eat the fruit of all the trees except the one that stands in the middle of the garden. If we eat the fruit of that tree, God says that we must die. Then the snake said, No, you will not surely die. God knows that if you eat of the fruit of that tree, you will become as wise as God himself, for you will know what is good and what is evil. Eve listened to the snake, and then she looked at the tree and its fruit. As she saw it, she thought it would taste good. And if it would really make one wise, she would like to eat it, even though God had told her not to do so. She took the fruit and ate it, and then she gave some to Adam, and he too ate it. Adam and Eve knew that they had done wrong in not obeying God's words, and now, for the first time, they were afraid to meet God. They tried to hide themselves from God's sight among the trees of the garden, but the Lord God called and said, Adam, where are you? And Adam said, Lord, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid, and I hid myself. And God said, Why were you afraid to meet me? Have you eaten the fruit of the tree of which I told you that you must not eat it? And Adam said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the fruit, and I ate it. Then God said to the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And And Eve said, The snake told me that it would do me no harm if I should eat the fruit, so I took some of it and ate it. Then the Lord God said to the snake, Because you have led Adam and Eve to do wrong, you shall no more walk as do other animals. You shall crawl in the dust and the dirt forever. I will put enmity between you and the woman, between you and all men. But one of them will have victory over you. And the Lord God said to the woman, Because you led your husband to disobey me, there shall be pain and sorrow in your life, and your husband shall rule over you. And God said to Adam, Because you listened to your wife when she told you to do what was wrong, you too must suffer. You must work for everything that you get from the ground. You will find thorns and thistles and weeds growing on the earth. If you want food, you must dig and plant and reap and work as long as you live. You came out from the ground, for you were made of dust, and back again into the dust shall your body go when you die. And because Adam and Eve had disobeyed the word of the Lord, they were driven out of the beautiful garden of Eden, which God had made to be their home. They were sent out into the world, and to keep them from going back into the garden, God placed his angels before its gate with swords which flashed like fire. So Adam and his wife lost their garden, and no man has ever been able to go into it from that day.